What's up, my girl bugs? Today, I have made an extra special treat for myself. I made a homemade pizza. This homemade pizza has onions, it has olives, it has mushrooms, it has fresh garlic, it has fresh jalapenos, it has um, oregano. Y'all got a whole bunch of stuff up in here. Okay, okay, just know what's good. And if I find something that I may have missed. I'm just like, mm, there that go, there that go. <laughs> but without further ado, let's say grace and let's get it in. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. Lord God, let it be nourishing to my body. Lord. I was thinking to myself, whoo, Lord have mercy. Amen. God, it smells so good. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Glasses are coming off. Or should they? I don't know. Because last video, I had like a little corner or something on my mouth. And I wasn't, I wasn't messing with that. But I don't like the reflection of the ring light in my face. So let's just keep them on for now. Don't pay attention to the ring light in my glasses. Okay. But yes, you guys. Uh is a homemade pizza literally from scratch i made the dough with my bare hands i think i have to turn it around because i should <laughs> y'all can't see that okay yeah the slices that i made so this dough does not have yeast i'm pretty sure y'all see the bottom of that's the olive right there um yes this is the homemade pizza it is tomato y'all it's a chicken pizza rusty cray pizza <laughs> yeah I told y'all um I would tell you mm, mm. Mm. And now I know I got crushed red pepper flakes. I love crushed red pepper flakes. I don't know. It's in on all the pizza. I ain't gonna put it on all the pizza. Cause I know all my mama, all my mama wants some. My mama but I don't really like spicy food like that. I put a little hot sauce on it. Yes, I got the hot sauce. And if you ain't putting no salad dressing or nothing like that, I got Caesars, but I normally put ranch on my pizza. If you can't, if you ain't, if you ain't doing what it do, then what are you doing? Okay? Let's just say it like that. Shit. Y'all gotta excuse me. My energy a little low. I done got pissed off with my boyfriend. I'm seeing him. Mm. The food making me happier. I'm sitting here 
trying to chill with y'all. He just over there playing his game. Oh, him. I love him, but he didn't just piss me off. Mm. This is so good. Mm. So, I made a homemade chicken pizza. So good. Mm -hmm. It's divine. Okay. Delicious. Get you a woman that can cook. It doesn't have any yeast in it as well. I made everything from scratch. The dough is flour, baking powder, salt, and a little sugar. And water. No yeast in it. Mm. I love bread pizza. I do not own the rights to that song. Two glasses of wine, by the way. Um, I took me a couple glasses of wine. Drop or so. The crust to my basil. Kind of cock at it when I eat. I'm like, what should I make? The film. When Tay closed her eyes when she was eating, I felt that. It tastes way better when I'm not as close. This chicken piece is delicious. Today. I hope you guys started off your Monday blessed, highly favored. I just got done I'm getting all of this ready so I can share it with you. <laughs> I feel so good, y'all. Besides the fact that me just getting angry. You know, I gotta take stuff with a grain of salt. Oh, yes, and this is a pizza pan. We own it. Y'all, fun fact I used to work for a pizza shop. It was called T 
Topper's Pizza. And uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Topper's Pizza. They were like your average little uh, Domino's wannabe, Soprino's wannabe. What else? Any fucking, ooh, excuse me, y'all. I've been working on my cussing. Any freaking pizza place, fast food pizza place. Mm. Uh, both Caesars. Mm. Oh, the camera moved up. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. It's so good. Okay. They were good too. I made the best pieces. As you can tell. story time today. I don't feel like talking about that right now. Mm. No. I'm cool. How many minutes in we are? Mm -hmm. We are 11 minutes in. But the only reason why I take my glasses off is because I don't want y'all to see the ring. Like, I'm an easily distracted person. So, I am going to be looking like, look at the ring. Like, it's in our glasses. Ah! Critic. I'm my biggest critic at that. Especially with me doing something like this. Being entertaining. But, this is me. This is what you get. And that's just it. Uh, I'm going to sit. I'm going to talk my shh. Um, I'm just going to be myself. Because at the end of the day, that's all you have to be like. Like, seriously. I'm not going to put on no persona for y'all. Like, none of that. Like, for real. Like, this is me. This is who I am. Uh, excuse me. Ask anybody. And if you follow my Snapchat... Uh, yeah, you would know that I love to cook. You would know that I'm very antisocial. <laughs> very antisocial. But y'all know how I feel about the women today. Y'all know I feel like people just be really taking on too much masculine energy for me. And not even that. People be dealing with things that, you know, feel like don't deserve to be around me. Um, women in videos holding up guns um too much masculinity for me and not only that just the women of my generation in general like i just don't relate to them everybody gotta have name brand everybody gotta have gucci everybody gotta have prada everybody gotta have something of this world and i really feel like that's the difference between me and the females of my generation um Everybody is focused on things of this world and I'm trying to get closer to God and not the God that you guys think is God, the actual true Christ, actual, like actual Jesus, the Jesus who hair was wool texture, if you get what I mean. And you know what, we really going to get into some stuff on here because I've really been learning a lot through this new camp and everything like that. It's called IURC. Big shout out to them. They really opened my eyes to a lot of things. And um, it's just up. Like, whatever I learn, like, I'm going to share it with you guys. 
And, um, yeah, like, you can have your opinions about it. Like, you feel me? If you agree with it, you agree with it. If you don't, you don't. But I know who I am. And I know that a reason why I don't have a lot of friends and everything like that is because of trauma with other females what they dealt with and not even just that the influences that they are around like people's spirits don't be aligned right like you feel me like so i can't really mess with stuff like that like if i feel like you ain't right and you're not on the up and up and you're not genuine if you out here indulging in things that you shouldn't be indulging in as a young lady i really feel like women are supposed to move with grace they're supposed to move with peace um and i really just feel like i really just haven't been able to find anyone you don't have women like that and i'm very different like i'm very different like some females are just really so weird sad. nowadays like, i don't have anything in common with these Everything's about source. Everything's about power. Everything's about money. I don't give it about money. I don't care about that. I care about your heart. I care about who you are as a person. Um, and you just really don't need real people out here like that. The women today is, um, get them a Gucci bag. My dude got to be doing this. My dude got to be doing that. Um, what, what else? Like, I can go on and on, y'all, but that's not something I really wanted to go on and on about. I'm sweating because the pizza just got out the oven. Um, that's not something I really wanted to go on and on about. Um, more of the story to wrap things up, I just feel like the women of my generation just simply don't have their priorities together. Um, I simply feel like I'm just, uh, an old soul. <laughs> I'm just old soul. I feel like I'm a lot wiser than most. Um, I don't go out clubbing or um, I don't go out getting drunk or smoking weed like that. Like, no, I don't do it at all. <laughs> like, I may have some wine. Y'all may see me take the edge off a little bit or whatever because it's just a little nerves on camera. But, uh, yeah, like on some real deal stuff. Like, I don't do none of that, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Or you got women out here talking about <sighs> keep making thoughts and like, real life crazy shit. I ain't like that. I'm not the type of person to keep up with the Joneses. I could absolutely care less about what someone else is doing to fit into society. I'm not the type of person to try to please everyone else because something's in style. I'm the type of person. I really just want to be free. I want to build my own business. I already started a business, but I'll let you guys know when it's back open. It's www.visualimpulse.store. I have some construction going on. Um, I felt like I needed to do more research, but more of the story, I just feel like, why would I spend all of my days, all of my life following a system that oppresses us? And you know what, y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's not just us, if you know what I'm talking about, if you hear with it, um, it's just in general, like this is slavery, working a nine to five, like doing all that type of stuff. Like you got to free your mind. You got to free, you got to free yourself. Like you have to know and have faith that you can do all things in Christ, not even just in Christ because I'm not a Christian, but I follow Christ. Christianity is a European religion and it was forced upon us. If you know what I'm saying, but not just that, you feel me? Like, I'm just saying, like, real talk. I follow Christ. I don't follow the creator that they made us believe is Christ. I use a lot of stuff. I'm going to get into it with y'all. I'm going to chop it up with y'all about that. But... 
just ranting a little bit just letting y'all know who I am how I am the different sides of me but yeah y'all like for real for real I'm not like that I'm really not and I'm very protective for myself over if I feel like you a bad influence on my life or anything of that nature, you cut. And I don't really necessarily allow myself because it's like the women nowadays, it's very hard to try to relate. And then if I try to relate, I feel like I'm faking it. Shoot. I don't, I don't mess with nobody. That's why I got my man. He's my best friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's my best friend. My real best friend. He is my real best friend, but y'all know what I mean. <sighs> yeah. Y'all girl is a square. Y'all is a square. I swear that way. It's just that some of the things that bring me peace doesn't necessarily revolve in a drink or blood. That's all I gotta say. 24 years old. I'm not getting any younger. Old lady sounding. I'm mean, gonna be. I mean, I'm just like. <sighs> but y'all, this was so good. I just wanna chit chat with y'all. I'm done eating. What y'all I was gonna eat this whole pizza or something? No. How y'all like my New York accent? <laughs> okay. Disclaimer. Cause I'm gonna burp. Mm. That garlic jalapeno. Fresh garlic. Let me just say this. I am not a microwave. I'm not. I'm not. Ain't no microwave B words over here. Everything you see, this doesn't even have yeast in it. I literally kneaded the dough for this pizza. Like, real talk. Like, I literally created everything. And um, you guys are not going to see fast food on here. Oh, I'm sorry for moving the camera again, y'all. Yeah. I'm sorry if you guys just heard my boyfriend friend call him a bitch. I'm so sorry. And it's this boy. I don't know what his name is. Um, he is like a little Mexican boy who live in South Chicago Heights. Like I'm really just about ready to slap the shit out of him. Because he's a hater. He's a hater. He's always hating on my boyfriend. He's so weird. Well, that took a turn. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's a prime example of what I mean by friends aren't really friends. Because if you have somebody that's insulting you 24-7 and they just claim that they just joking around with you, trying to be your friend or being cool or whatever the case, y'all claim that you be, you're a low-key hater, you're weird, your priorities are in the wrong place, and third of all, you fake. You a snake and you know who you is. Sicko, whatever the fuck your name is. I don't know who you is. But when I see you, I'm going to slap the shit out of you because you fake as hell. Anyway, back to the scheduled program. Here's another slice of pizza. I'll take one bite for you guys. Yeah, I don't like that, y'all. Y'all just have to see me get ugly because, like, he's so weird. It's like he be trying to, mm -hmm, I'm going to talk to y'all about that in another video. He, he's, he's weird. He's definitely a weird one. He's definitely a real one. He's the type of person that see you doing good and still going to try to talk crap about you because he ain't got nothing else to do. Still living in his parents' house, dirty as hell. Mm. 
That's what I mean. Be protective of who you are around. Because everybody ain't. I don't play that. Frenemies, whatever y'all, whatever they call yourself. Okay? I don't do that. If you a friend of me, you don't need to be my friend. Weirdo. Watch me from a distance. Hate on me for a distance. Don't be the same cats that'll shoot you in your back for some money. Literally, I know how I feel my face, y'all. It'll be the same dudes that'll backdoor you. Like, real talk. Like, real, real, real talk. <sighs> y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know I get on this camera. I'll be happy to see y'all. But I'm finna talk some real stuff now. Like, for real. Because I'm a real person. I'm not finna put on no persona. I'm not finna do none of that. No. I literally just heard him call my boyfriend out his name and I just I can't I can't I'm tired of it I'm tired of it and I can't wait till I get big so you can see this video to know I'm talking about your broke dirty still living in a house with 50 probably My boyfriend is really doing good for himself. And he just got, he got like this little group chat of friends. And I hear him the most. I hear him the most just talking, just talking at chatting, chatting at chat. And then got sh to show for it. He's a loser. A loser. That's what you call guys like that. It's probably like 26, 27. Still living at home with their mom. Without a career. They're losers. I said it. I said it. If you don't have a disability... You're a loser. Point week period. If you ain't out here getting to the bread, you a loser. I don't care. You don't have to be an entrepreneur. You don't have to be none of that. You got to have your mind on straight. You got to be righteous. <clears throat> you got to be, you got to be really trying to work. Have an effort for yourself. Have a dream. Have something. I see this dude. All he do is just text the group chat. Talking about my boyfriend. Go get a job. If you got one. This is no offense to the Mexican community. He just really made me mad. I don't want you singing me down here. <laughs> Y'all, he really made me mad, like for real. You know. He really made me mad. He always be making me mad. I be really wanting to punch on his ass and get somebody else to do it. Cause I know he a punk. But my boyfriend be like, just stay out of it. Just stay out of it. I be ready to put hands and feet about my boyfriend. No matter how much he make me mad, I'm ready to punch niggas in their face. 
pizza because it may rain quick and the way you want it but this pizza is perfect like i'm just looking at it like it's perfect it tastes way better like it's healthier um it doesn't have any yeast in it yeast is bad for you guys it's bad for you what's wrong with y'all stop eating stuff that's bad for you i'm gonna i'm gonna get into that too y'all need to start cooking your own food y'all need to start growing your own food y'all need to start really doing what y'all need to do for yourself because it's about to be some perishes times out here. It's about to be a famine. While we sit up here eating these big meals, we need to be reasonable, okay? Okay, but I love you guys. I was just ranting this video. I love you so much. And I thank you so much for watching this video. This video was just a little chit chat. The next video, I'll finish off the story a time about my stalker. My crazy little weird little stalker. Ugh. So weird. But yes, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you did not already. And I love y'all. I'll see y'all next video.